live. It's session 20. Isn't that fucking insane? Is it really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, it is. Shit. And we've only had one death. Yes, it is. <laughs> only true. one death. And we took we fixed that we real undid fast. It. Undo. We, we, we Uno put a reverse. Yeah, we put we put the band-aid on that one. He got better. He got better. <laughs> he died, but he got better. Wait, you didn't die on session ten, did you? I got better. Uh no, I died before it was pretty session close. 10. It was pretty because close. That means we're due if if uh <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I can look this up. I can see what video uh I allude to my death. <laughs> Oh, good times. Yeah, I laughed, you laughed, the the countertop laughed, we shot the countertop. <laughs> the Decepticon <laughs> joke. I yeah. fucking love that. Yeah. Let's see, what Decepticon was that mimics, it works for a number oh, of yeah, things. Oh yeah, 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 mimic. They're crustaceans. Yeah, uh, well, in Delicious and Dungeon. Um, but bi are mimics crabs. are more um insectoid. But... Oh, yeah. oh yeah, my favorite mimic subtype, which I do put in all of my campaigns. Do with this information what you will. Uh, is a health potion mimic. I love uh, that one. I like that. That one's one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, it has a horrifying effect where if it grapples you, it'll empty its stomach inside your mouth. Yep. <sighs> and then lay eggs in your body like an ovipositor. Yep. Um, <laughs> it's it, I love it, but at the same time, it makes me fucking twitch and absolutely wretch. It's a horrible right. way to die. Good yeah. news, bad news. Uh, good weird. news. Uh, I have located in which session Dura died. Dura like, died like, in session seven. Yes. Bad okay. news. That means that we are overdue okay. for a character <laughs> death. Almost one more session by twice. <laughs> oh boy. Let's we'll see how long we can get the streak going. Bertha Wall says it minutes that look like flowers would be the most effective. I don't know about that. I guess you go to Lee. Who smells flowers though? Like flowers. Hmm? In to <laughs> you had that in oh, your pocket, oh, ready to go. <laughs> that was such a fast response. Yeah, it was very fast. <laughs> Locked and loaded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hmm. I wasn't ready for how ready you had that. You know what Look, messed up? Clouds? Yes. Uh, the session in which Dura dies <laughs> is one of our least viewed sessions. Oh no! Well, people are boycotting it. Yeah. Die better then. Yeah. Ne next time I will die better. Eat more dirt. Oh, you almost the last time you ate dirt. Fucking ate holy dirt. shit! <laughs> ate Jeez. shit. Everything it's went funny. to hell after you ate dirt. Oh, you make tea mm. out of flowers. Yeah, but. That's neither here nor there. Don't give Elder uh, Druid any is, ideas. This is gonna make me not trust Versers any tea, any kind of alchemy ever again now. <laughs> oh, the last thing I need is alchemy with a fucking plot directive attached to it. Bring this. Said report directly to Staff Center. <laughs> Been there, done that. Uh... Hmm. Having a hard time here with audio, it looks like. Oh yeah. Yeah, for some reason I can't get I can't get Discord to uh input its audio into Weren't you having a weren't you having something last time too? I think you were having it. A... Yeah, but this time it seems like it's a Discord issue. Uh leave and come back. Honestly, yeah, shutting down and rebooting Discord could be your solution. Well, we have no real evidence. Yeah, hold on. I'm still messing with my sound thing here. Looks well, like the reboot answer. To reboot? Maybe. 
I, I did, but I don't Maybe. know if the stream no, is... No, I'm not I, you. I did, I'm just saying that's, the, the, that's the first is... answer from any IT. Did it yeah. reboot? Did it fix itself? All right, I'll close the ticket. I cannot hear. <laughs> I, I, I just listened to uh, your stream, and uh, I, I don't hear us. Funnily enough, it works for people, too. Yeah, that's super weird. What's going on here? Only if it did... <laughs> So, uh, delicious in dungeon, then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hmm. This is rough. Okay, I don't get what's going on here. Oh, dear. Yeah, I can't help you. Hmm, I... Yeah, I don't know. I guess keep talking about stuff. Just All right. we'll see if my stream picks it up at any point. Vamp. Vamp. Oh, it has your voice though. It has. Yeah, I can. I'm coming up, but for some reason, we are not getting any. Right, just picking up yeah. your desktop audio. Great desktop. Hmm. That may or may not work. Uh, audio issues are the bane of my streaming existence, and I know that they are, are they are never an easy fix. <clears throat> Interesting. Why is Discord? Being Everyone, weird? come to Fizzbang's channel where the audio works for now. But we can't. Uh, you know what the funniest part about that is? That nobody who would be in Elder Druid's channel to hear me say that could hear me say that. Yep. Yeah. I thought you were just doing a bit. <laughs> I, I mean, I was. <laughs> Gotta be something with Discord. Discord's not loading, right? Restart it. Yeah, hold on. I might have to manually shut down Discord. Oh boy. I don't know if the run as admin would help at all either. You know what he's using? I guess the stream is it like the? I think he uses OBS. You can type right. Well, uh, how's about I pull up that, uh, that play test again? We can go back to talk about that while, uh, yeah. Elder Druid sorts out his, uh, audio. Or our audio, I guess. They don't need to hear us. They can just assume sarcasm and screaming. Yeah, we're the least important, right? <laughs> screaming. That's what friendship sounds like, Carl. <laughs> Screaming and then silence. <laughs> I'm looking at the. Uh, I mean, are we more interested in talking about the commander or the guardian? Uh, the commander definitely has more options in the brain space of my brain. Yeah. Okay. I think. Ooh. I think I found a workaround for now. Um, work around for now. Yeah. Um, without having to just completely shut down the computer yeah. and open everything. Without, 
I do yeah. hear I do hear me on your stream, so that's good. Hey, D does it does it sound okay? Uh, I was a little loud, but I don't know if I'm a little loud. It's normal. I talk. Loud. You you are you are a little loud normally compared <laughs> to everyone else. <laughs> Work of Discord. That is fixable. Then yeah, you're probably okay. I was as loud as uh well I was a little louder than you, but that's just speaking volume stuff. Yeah. Okay. And then, then we're good. We're good. Okay. Alright. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Boy. Alright. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So yeah. Um all right, last we left off, you guys were in the the Fangberry thicket. Yeah, and the Fangberries are oh. just over them there hills. Right. They uh, do appear to be covered in uh, spiderwebs. If I remember, we, we camped, and then in the morning we were going to go get them, and then now it would be morning, right? Correct. It's a long journey, but uh, I think we could go and pick up the pick those bangberries now. Yes, though I think we should be careful of what appears to be a obvious sign of spiders. Mm. We knew the area contained them, though it looks like it's far more than we expected. I will have to be careful to not set the entire thicket on fire. Don't forget that owl barrel scream that we heard, I think. When we were... yeah. I feel like every time we go to try and chase that, it runs farther and farther away, so our best bet might be to just let it come to us in time. As much as I liked going looking for a good fight, having one come to me for a change sounds like a grand idea. Or certainly a novel one. Novel is a better word. Uh, Dura will just head over to some of the fangberries, try to find a place with wherever there might be the least amount of, uh, of cobweb, and just start going and picking some berries. Clearly doesn't know right. what ones would be ripe or not, so. Here, here is what I am gonna do. Because as soon as you go to approach the fangberry thicket, Two large swarms of spiders appear to move out of the brush and towards you. Spider swarms? Oh, shit. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. You see two spider swarms that are moving in your direction. Creepy crawlies. Creepy crawlies. I would like initiatives, please. <laughs> yeah, let's get there. No. I don't want to. Too bad. <laughs> oh, no, it's Andrew. I'm used to it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh huh. Hmm. Uh, who am I missing? Uh, Myth. But Myth had Myth. to run check the raven at the door. 
Nevermore. Yes. Fuck the raven at the door. Where's Miss Candace? How did that even happen? What? <sighs> Why was Myth all cattywampus? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that even happens. Save from the um, right order? Yes. Yeah, that's not right. I never roll. Nice. God damn it. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I guess we're waiting for Myth to come back. I am here. Okay. Are you cool. see neighbor? Yikes. We'll go with not pretty is how that is how that was. Ooh. Sorry to hear. Yes. Apologies. What did I miss? You it's win it. Your turn. You're first. Hell you yeah. Uh, those are spider swarms. swarms. No, of yes. course they are. I Pretty assume crawlies. I'm just I'm just shooting into the mass of bullshit. <laughs> that, that's what you want to do. Of course it's what I want to do. Come on, don't you know me? <laughs> and to be clear, we are not like next to or like in threat of the uh, the fangberries, right? Like they're a little ways away. The, the spider swarms came out to meet us on the battlefield. Well, the the fangberries are in the bushes behind the spiders. You don't have to worry about damaging the, the berries themselves. Fantastic! I'm very happy because to hear we you say were. those words. <laughs> <laughs> No way that doesn't crit. And the swarms are immune to crit. Nice. I think it's only slimes. That's what I'm cooking. Hot damn! Wow. <laughs> That's two thirds of me health bar. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking! It's a good thing I'm not shooting you. Brits are outrageous. So yeah, fantastic. gun. Uh, fatal D12 is one of the best, most powerful traits That's to have on awesome. a weapon. Gunslingers nice. are a class that love to crit because most of their weapons do amazing things when you crit. They're a whole class built around crit fishing. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, somehow one bullet takes out an entire swarm. <laughs> Kablam! <laughs> okay. Do, do, do it. Do it again. All do right. it again. Conjure a new bullet and shoot a second time. Um, ah, I'm gonna hero point that. Yes. Ah. Um, Still miss? Oh fuck us! Yep, wow, seventeen's not that, that high. No, it's probably it's a uh, an eighteen or a nineteen. Probably. All right. Someone else gets to have some fun. <laughs> Misha, you're up. Yeah, he kind of kind of slowly looks at, at Myth, just like kind of underneath the mask. The jaw is like a little drop, and he just is like. Everyone do that! And he does inspire <laughs> inspire courage. Um for everyone. Um and then the anticlimactic uh he just follows up as soon as he's done saying that with uh and just does a needle darts in the swarm. Does the okay. nineteen hit? Uh, yes. That will be 14. Piercing. 
will be some piercing. Got it. Okay. All right, so you managed to, you take out a few of the spiders. You managed to nail them to the branches or to the log over there. Um, the, the swarm continues to advance. Dura. Dura, like, tenses up and begins screaming. Ah! And, in, like, in his open mouth, uh, fire begins to collect. And uh, we fireball. It launches like a Naruto bijou bomb. <laughs> oh, Fuck yeah. Man. Oh, my fucking Wish. God. We, uh... We take this. Oh, Jesus. 500 foot range? Yeah, you can do anything within 500 feet, and it's a 20 foot area. They just have to do a. Uh, Why? I think they have to do a fortitude save? Reflex. Reflex. Oh, reflex, that one. Yep. A reflex save to save for half. Which they sure <laughs> they don't. They do not. And so the swarm burns and screeches. Smells surprisingly good. Lavender. I do not. No, kind of like, like kind of like, uh, kind of like, like barbecued crab. Hmm. Mm. The fuck does that smell like? Crab. You never had barbecue crab? No, because I boil it like a normal human being. Uh, no, oh no, crab. dude! You can smoke it. It's so good. Yeah. Uh. But that's confusing. Do you do you shell it and then you smoke the meat? Or are you sm are no. you smoking the whole crab? Smoke the whole crab. How does the flavor penetrate the shell of the of easily. the smoke? Well, yeah, e easily. Usually, you really? degill it and stuff as well. Yeah. Oh. Um, and I I'll tend to I tend to um I'll put like some fruits and stuff or or, or other like garlic and other things in there as well, and wrap it in a banana leaf. Oh, I understand the banana leaf. All right. All right. Interesting. Uh, spiders? Yeah, um, there's no more spiders, so... <laughs> you guys are currently out of combat. Uh, I don't know like if I should say I'm glad we, we dealt with that, or I'm wow. sorry I blew through that. I do not no, like that was amazing. That, that was amazing. Keep doing that. Both yes. of you. We're good at hey. what we do. I am good at screaming. My throat is not even sore. So, um... Um... For those of you that are going to gather the berries, I need a survival check. I'll watch for more spiders. Uh, if you are wearing medium armor or heavier, you gain a plus two. Does that survival check work? It does. <laughs> are we inspired? Does this count? <laughs> I mean, it, it it sure does, but, uh, yeah, it, it's not enough to help you. All right, so, um, I'm going to ask you, Dura, to roll me a d6. Uh-oh. Oh, dude. Spider fang bushes are thorny. I was saying there may be a reason why they're called fang berries. Okay, so you take five points of damage. Yeah, I thought I could... Now, uh, give it another six seconds, and then roll me another d6. Okay. And just do that every six seconds until someone makes a medicine check. Ow. Oh, fuck. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Why, why are you deathly bleeding from I... a berry bush? Ow. <laughs> What is happening? Uh, okay, I do not want to. I do not want to pick berries anymore. And he leaves. I do not. 
I'm not trained in it. I have a, I have a one. Can I just take a died of persistent damage from fucking? You, oh my can you god! Just, can you just take a, 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 a? Can you just drink a potion? Oh! Can I just soothe? I just I cast a first level soothe on him. I really gotta go. What are you doing? What's happening? I am not I'll picking berries soup. anymore. I do not care about the wine for the weird old man. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, what are you doing? This isn't helpful. <laughs> so, the thorns uh, go out, not in. So everyone that everyone else that rolled me that rolled below a twenty-eight roll me a D6. Oh no. A twenty-eight? Jesus Christ. Everyone who rolled below a twenty-eight. Even me? No, no, no. Okay. If you, yeah, no. Especially this is, me. This is, no, this is failure versus critical, failure versus uh, success versus got it. critical success. No. For those who succeeded, you take a d6 of damage. For those who failed, you take a d6 and then a d6 of persistent damage. What about those who critically succeeded? Those who critically succeeded do not take damage. So, if you rolled below a 28. So, I'm sitting happy at my 30, then. <laughs> yeah. so, I yeah, rolled I nothing, because I have no survival. <laughs> you opted not to assist. <laughs> <laughs> so, each of you that did attempt it, which is three of you, um, managed to get a a basket of fangberries. I currently have three baskets full of fangberries. <laughs> Dura just really got his hands cut open on the thorns. I do not God, like slashed. I don't open. like these berries. Spider fang berries. <laughs> or the creepy crawlies that live in them. That's amazing. Good times. Oh, it is amazing the stuff that, that gets you guys. Yeah, the stuff that we that we get shit on versus like anything else. You never it's predict it. You can't predict it. No, I, I fucking never know what to expect. It's great. <laughs> oh. Okay. So there's that. So now, did you guys want to go straight back to your capital or what are you trying to do? Yeah, I think we're heading back to the capital. Wait at least get check in and see how things are before we set out to the next thing. I mean, we have to get the fangberries back to the old man before they rot. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I do not care. <laughs> you want nothing to do with the berries. Yeah. He was only going to give us a few, uh, a few health potions anyway. Island health potions are a pleasant thing, especially when you get slashed up by a berry bush. We will speak no more of the berry bushes. <laughs> mm. I don't know if that's the case forever, but definitely for now. I will not have this dishonor on my record. I'll have to do better then. You, you might want to best the berry bush. bush. You could let so, you know uh, that's where the um that's where the alchemist's hut was. Yep. Green smudge. Why is it so far away? And, and what's the freshness of Fisa, or how long is it? You know, before they before they. Rot. Do these ripen like an avocado, or will they stay good for a little <laughs> while, like an orange? 
I mean, you can give me a nature check to try to figure that out. Shit, I can do that. No, I can't. <laughs> I guess I'll try. <laughs> Uh, hello, nature. <laughs> so, um, Dura, you think if you store them properly, they might last for maybe up to a week? But that's about as long as they will last. It will last. They are called berries, but actually they are nuts. They will stay fine for about a week. Much like a banana. Bananas are nuts. So are watermelons. Uh, are those <laughs> berries poisonous? Dura eats one? He's just spouting gibberish. Not poisonous. <laughs> I am still alive. No. <laughs> yeah, you you uh you you note that it is very tangy and sweet. Oh, sorry. Are they venomous? <laughs> I do uh, not think it back. could bite me if it wants. It already has. <laughs> mm, that it bush has bush, not the berry. <laughs> The semantics of which are important. Note now I have eaten the berry and gained its powers. I am stronger <laughs> for it. <laughs> oh. I think he might Misha. be hallucinating. And none they, of you know Misha whispers about that to, to, to Myth and Xandri. He's like, I think he's hallucinating for the berries. Uh, I'm you just going to let him have it. It's not he's the just berries. Ride it out, it's I the think. ibuprofen. I'm pr pretty sure. That bush did something to him. So what are you guys doing? <laughs> it is not Watch your church triples. Raspberry and blueberries are also nuts. Uh, we could head back, check on the city, then head out. As are strawberries. In fact, many things that say berry in the name are actually. Speaking of nuts. <laughs> Ray, hey. I'm so not I wrong. Be, I'm like correct, damn it. Week to get there. <laughs> oh, half a week of good weather. I did not have a tribe to gather while I hunted, so I uh, had to learn which berries were good on my own. You would be surprised at how many berries are actually nuts. That's all I'm saying. Let's let's get these to the alchemist. So are you going to your capital first? Or what are you doing? Uh, what are Which we way are you do? going? Do we want to drop stuff off at the capital in some fashion? Or do we want to just hike on? Wait. How did we find the alchemist there? We were on our way back from Bravoy. Yeah, but didn't it... we come down the river? You went back up, remember? Yeah, we um, went yeah. Uh, westward along this way. And then we went up there and then found the alchemist there. <laughs> right before we got back to Oleg's, because we pushed into Oleg's, we uh, made ourselves tired. We got the mine to address, so I think maybe that's why we were headed back to here. 
Oh yeah, we need to get to that. Then the mine on that before it gets claimed by some other person. Right. Yes, the gold is more important than the berries. Well, we also can, in theory, sell the berries to someone in the capital for money. It's three baskets. Yes, but they're difficult to collect, so... I would rather go back to our capital city, or, or to our capital town, before worrying anything about these berries. The reward is not so great for so many days of travel. Yeah, I think the mine is more important. And then after we take care of the mine, then it's just, you can just head up north and still give the, the that guy his berries. I forget the old man's name. Okay, so we're going back to the capital then? Yeah. Okay. So, it takes you about seven hours to make it from the Fangberry Thicket to the capital. Um, as you guys are making it down the road and approaching the cap, the, like, um, the main path, road heading into the capital, um, you can see as a group of um, peasants, for lack of a better word, approach you. Um, immediately, they will come running up to Misha specifically going, My lord, my lord, there were two people found dead outside the town. They're currently being held at the, at the cemetery. It is, it, is, it is most important that someone look into it. Oh, of course, of course. Just, uh, yeah, let us, let's go to the, I guess, the town hall. Okay. Well, the bodies are in the cemetery. Um, but I don't we can remember go into where the town it takes <laughs> Yeah, what's our town look like again? <laughs> I'll move you guys down there. Hold on. An inn, a cemetery, and... An inn? Where, where'd you get the inn Not from? Not an inn, a, uh... Town hall. Yeah. We were debating yeah, we about an inn or something. Yeah, the town hall, I... a cemetery, and nothing else? Granary? Greater? Houses. Uh, houses, cemetery. right. Where the peasants live. Okay. So, yeah, I guess we'll go to the, the, the cemetery. Okay. Like me. When they were yelling, my lord, Misha was, like, looking around, like, behind them. <laughs> They're, like, like looking at you like, you're the one in charge here, we need help. Just a figurehead. Oh, just a figurehead. So, um... When you guys approach, you guys can see that there are two bodies, um, male and female, that are covered in a sheet. Um, as you approach, the um, peasants are like, I've never seen anybody tear apart something like that before. I don't know what did that, but I certainly don't want to run that, run into that in a dark alley. Yeah, I guess I'll pull the sheet back. So, um, when you pull the pull the sheet back, you can see that these bodies are pretty savagely mutilated. Entire chunks of them are missing. Um, <laughs> you 
You can give me a um, medicine or nature or hunting lore check to determine uh, what possibly might have done this. I always appreciate when you throw a random lore out. You know we don't have. I don't know what you don't do or don't have. I feel like as the as the GM, you <laughs> should have an inkling. <laughs> I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, that doesn't mean that it's not here and available for those that might have picked it up somewhere mm-hmm. along the way. Man, I... Oof. Was that sure. supposed to be a hero point? Misha? No, they're separate. No, that was the previous. That was the previous. Oh, role. the previous, previous. Role. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> neither one of you is sure. <laughs> Whatever it Never was, once. it definitely wasn't human. And it probably wasn't a giant owlbear because they're not in pellet form. Eldred, I have a request, but I need to explain my thinking here first. Could I roll mm-hmm. war, uh, lore warfare with the idea that Dura's warfare is probably not so much widespread like tactical information as much as it is like one-on-one fighting what kind of wounds are these whether they'd be like jaws claws like are these bites out of people because you said there's flesh mist like like that's kind of my my line of logic here for this would that be acceptable oh yes i would allow you to roll that absolutely because that's just how dura fights So again, you can definitely tell it wasn't done by like a man or man-made weapon. Um, the one thing that between the mo- the both of you that you noticed is that there seem to be a lot of defensive wounds. They have a lot of scratches and claw marks on their wrists and forearms. So. If they were defending themselves, it would have been roughly humanoid size. When were they found? And were they found here, like this? Minus the sheep? Well, they... Or did you move they, them? We, we moved them. They were found just outside of town. Um, They were starting to settle up and uh, and putting down the foundations for a hut out there when... um. Unfortunately, they were found like this the next morning. Was it to the south and east of uh, where the Stag Lord's encampment used to be? Down the No, the actually. The they came from just down the road where you guys came from. Up to the north. Myth, could you, do you notice, are there any... If we go there, could you see if there are perhaps any tracks that seem to stick out as abnormal? I could probably do that. If I have, uh, if I'm given some time, I can certainly get my eye over the area, see what looks right, what doesn't. All right. It takes you like about five minutes to walk out to the spot where the bodies were found. You right. can see the dried blood stains spattered all over the trees and rocks and and ev- there just dried blood covering the ground. This um you messy. But uh yeah, you could go ahead and give me a survival check. Okay. <clears throat> well. Okay. So looking at the survival, like looking, looking at the ground and looking at the tracks, you notice something that immediately strikes you as off. You see what possibly look like some of the largest wolf prints you've ever seen in your life. 
though there's something just innately wrong with them. So like and larger then, than uh, even like a dire wolf kind of a thing? Yes, larger than even a dire wolf. And then you look and something catches your eye in the mud, in the blood, in one spot where the, it seems like the blood has very heavily soaked into the ground. You can probably assume one of the bodies was laying there. There seems to be almost a large humanoid handprint that sinks almost half an inch into the ground. Um, but it seems to have very pointed and elongated fingernails like claws. We're fine. Um, hmm. would I be, uh, would I be able to, um, use nature to kind of see if I can pinpoint an idea of what that could have been? Absolutely. Um, anyone who's trained in occultism could try to, if you're, if you're telling people what you're finding, anybody who's trained in occultism, I am um, also or Arcana. Arcana is also acceptable. I am trained in all three, and they're all the same. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Pick one. Jesus Christ. Nice. <laughs> Thank okay. you, Dara. So you guys are, are, are pawing it over for a bit, pawing it over for a bit, and Dura just screams out, Werewolf! Yes! Distinctly not a nut. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's you a werewolf. I have always wanted to fight a werewolf. This is some poor bastard caught a curse, and now I get to fight it. Oh no! Wait, I don't know if I can hurt a werewolf. Oh, I'm I'm sure fire hurts most things. Well, right, but uh, I I what do I know of werewolves, Elder Druid? I don't want to meta. Um. Here, hold on. <laughs> so, hold on, I gotta pull up the information. I'm just slowly becoming, uh, re returning to topic of conversation, uh, Lyos from, uh, Dungeon Meshi. <laughs> Okay, so you do know that they are um, very fast and strong when compared to normal mortal creatures. Um, typically, they only transform under a large, under a full moon, though sometimes that can, that, that can differ depending on the specific curse affecting the person. Um... You also do know that they have a weakness for silver. I know that, uh, well, yes, fire will hurt them, but they are more susceptible to silver, and I do not have silver claws. Don't they have a regen, too? Or is that, is that just something I don't know? Um, they, they, you do not believe that they have a regen. Gotcha. Yep, then I, I just leave it as I said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But we... how do we find them? And do we know if there's anyone else that's out there as well? Other people building on our land? Well, there are plenty of people that are move, moving and migrating in. You guys saw a few people starting to settle down as you were approaching. Those are your farmers and, and your new colonists. Coming to a, a what is a burgeoning frontier town 
would be an excellent way for somebody who is afraid for their safety, being that they have contracted lycanthropy, to come and ha start a new life. If it is someone who does not wish ill upon us, that is what I think is potentially more likely, then finding a place out here where they could pot possibly be safe while affecting as few people as possible would be probably what they're thinking. GM, is it possible for me to tell the direction the uh, wolf tracks came from? They seem to head back into town. Am I, how far am I able to follow them before I lose them? Um, you are basically able to follow them um, up until the point where they come to a like little, um, almost an alcove where the brush gets very thick. You see that the um, wolf prints seem to fade into human prints. And then the human prints with a very staggered and um, sort of like off kilter gait step back into uh, town. But specifically, you could tell it looks as if the person was dragging their feet or stumbling when they left the bushes. So they definitely were not. They definitely appear to not have been in control of anything. So your your hypothesis for what what this individual, who this individual is, could uh, certainly hold some water. Currently, we're gonna have to. We're going to have to investigate around town, find out what else we can garner from this. But traditionally, werewolves only turn... You, you did say uh, they turn during a full moon, right? They, they usually only yeah. turn for during a full moon, though there can be exceptions to that. Right. Um, was last night a full moon? No. <laughs> though you do know that one is approaching... Within the next two days. Interesting. Normally, werewolves are only to, uh, of the lycanthropy only triggers when the moon is full. But if I remember from last night, the moon was not full, but the moon should be. Which means that there are outlying factors here. The bodies had defensive wounds, and if this seen is any indication the person, in, the infected is probably also covered in blood and gore. Or if was. If they have not found a way to clean themselves off yet. Mm, exactly. I think there are not uh, there are not many places within the town so far for one to bathe. It might be a possibility that we could track down. I, I don't know if it's set up like a, a communal bathing area, a la Rome, um, or whether like this would be like peasants with wash basins from the well. In the um, not to be the bearer of bad news, but we are built next to two rivers and a lake. Are we on the rivers? And are we like right on the river? You are you are right uphill from the lake. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, that would be it. We could ask around, see if there's if anyone has spotted anyone either acting strange or if anyone seemed particularly bloody, but not you sure. You guys can absolutely work. take some time to give me a diplomacy check or society if you have the hobnobber feet. The what? What now? So who are so so the how the how the hub uh, is a, a feat to collect information. Yep, it allows you to use the society skill to gather information instead of diplomacy. Uh, yep. What are we, uh, what are we trying to do? Apparently, gather we're information. Oh. <laughs> it's just you're you're going around asking peasants and random people if they've seen anything uh, weird or or information am... like that. I am not trained in diplomacy, so I do not have that ability. Nope. 
I would like to... I, I'd be better off trying to follow I mean, tracks around. Coerce people into giving me information. I mean, if we need the roll, I'll spend the, I'll spend the hero point if we need the roll. I mean, I don't know what that roll will get you. Dura so, is so serious and excited about fighting a werewolf that he probably is coming across very intense while questioning, and I think I could coerce with intimidation instead of diplomacy. But that's your call. Yeah, I think uh, when I want to intimidate our, uh, our our tax uh, our taxes. Um, so, yeah, Misha just goes around and he's just asking around town as the ruler. He's doing a face to face, trying to hope role. that sparks uh, good good responses. Are we good cop, bad cop? We could do good cop, bad cop. We could do that, sure. Definitely, it definitely sounds like you're good cop, bad cop. Uh, so I just come across guys... as weird. <laughs> when you guys are uh, checking around and asking people for information, um, eventually you do find a uh, an old washwoman. Who walks over to you, like, you ask her if she's seen anybody weird, and she's like, Well, I'll tell you what, there's that old, n that new trapper in town, uh, that was his name, I think it was something with a K. Um, Kundo, or Kundal, or something like that. Um... That guy shows up every morning, wobbling in, drunk off his ass. I bet you if anything's going on, it's probably him. The one with the dog? You know where you know where he's at? Where does he stay? You have any idea? Oh, I I don't know who he's been staying with. There's no inn in town, so he's gotta be crashing with somebody around here. Wherever he's staying with, he must be good about getting in and out. I haven't seen him go into anybody's houses. I Perhaps like to keep my eye on things, you know. Perhaps we should go check uh, with Lindsay. I'm sure she has a census around somewhere. This man you speak of, he is not the one who is followed around by a dog, yes? No, no, I haven't seen him with a dog. He's a, uh, a trapper. He, he's been in the area for, oh, I don't know, maybe five days now. Yes, let's go speak with Lindsay. Probably the best idea. Okay, so you go and you approach Lindsay. Um, well, we're like Lindsay traveling, and it's just us. I think I, he is all but described to Kundayo, except for the dog. Mm. Yes, that is what I was thinking. It's also possible dog was there at the first transformation. Unless the dog is the word. That's... Can they do that? I don't know. Uh, there were would be human prints, hand and feet. Right, Myth? Yes. It, it definitely appeared to be uh, the signs of a, a, a human becoming a, a, a wolf-like entity. What if it was a reverse werewolf? I, I, hmm... I feel like we would see more more evidence of that, given how strange that concept sounds. We will see what happens. <laughs> what can I do for you guys? What's this about a werewolf? It seems that one of our new arrivals to the outskirts of our growing establishment here as uh, they have fallen victim to what appears to be evidence of a werewolf. 
and we are trying to find out what has happened. I would like Talking to, to uh, some folks in town, someone made note of an individual who matches the description of Akundayo, but we're not sure it's him. Are there any others with a similar name that have come across any kind of census that uh, we may have taken? I mean... Okay, there's a couple. There's... Um, Kurai from, from, from Minkai right here. There's um, uh, this... There's a, there's a looks like there's a guy who arrived less than a week ago. His name is Kundal. That drink that is matches it? up with is he a trapper with the naming. Um, let me see time. here. It does it does say he is a trapper by trade. Yes, that definitely sounds like who she's describing. Well, he did pay taxes. All right. So yeah, if the name really matches and the time frame matches, we should send someone to, to chat with him. Who else is on that list that would be close to the to a similar name, just so we have a couple ideas of people to talk to? Well, I mean, with Karai, there's also a Kuro. I don't know if... That's are they a helpful. trapper as well? No, um, they're artisans. Okay. Um, I don't might be see any. We don't perfect. have that many citizens yet, so. Yes, that's that's why we figured checking a census would be the easiest thing for this moment. Yeah, I think we though I'm sure that'll get more trapper. difficult as time goes. There is value in keeping track of the comings and goings of the people who wish to lay claim to their lives here. Yes. So, um, if you're looking to uh, speak with Kundal, um, he has been staying uh, at this address here with a couple of the people that tend to our town hall. So, it's first street because there is one street and there are like ten houses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, it's it's definitely something along those lines. Ah, uh, yes. Number four, First Avenue. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> it sure is at 32nd and 5th. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, that, that definitely isn't. Uh, so, uh, is that where you guys are going? Yes. Yeah, I think we have some questions and kind of see kind of what reaction we get. Hope it's him and not a Kundayo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like with the top amount of time that he that a Kundayo had been with us, we we would have noticed something by now. Not if the moon was that full. Not likely. And we didn't travel that long together, unfortunately. Would do we even know? Would I mean, Dory? Would you know if if when you're changing, do you even know what's happening? Like so, when he changed, does he even know that this is even happening to him? So. It, there are from the what what I know, and I I do not profess to be an expert. It could be either. Usually, uh, you know, uh, after a person infected with lycanthropy wakes back up, they have fuzzy memories of the night previous, maybe a taste of iron, or they think that they bit their tongue or something of that nature. But uh, they usually do not know. Uh, they just and have a sense of something being off, uh, some nightmare, perhaps. But and if we've already seen minded. that there is something strange happening here, so they might? Yes, if if there's... If they do have such a mental fog, it, it could potentially match that of someone who is... Who would, who would appear drunk potentially? So there there could be similarities here, but we don't want to make any uh, jump assumptions yet. Yes, and, and if he is behaving uh, any sort of erratically, as Myth says, then it would be further 
further evidence of his infection. Yes, I was just trying to think about, he, he may not even know of his affliction. It's entirely possible that he may, whoever the individual is, may not be aware of their condition. Um, if they are not versed enough to put the uh, the auxiliary evidence together after the fact, um, they may just think that they're getting extra, they're getting wasted. Uh, beyond belief on some kind of inebriant, but it, it's very difficult to place any solid thought. Well, and his profession would routinely have him covered in blood, so he wouldn't think anything of that either. Right, and and do we even know how to, to, to help help this person? I do like, not believe that there is a cure for lycanthropy. That would be something to ask of the clergy and their ritualists, I would assume. The clergy, or perhaps uh, a sect of druids may know. But ah, yes. from what I am aware of, there is no, there is no cure for lycanthrope. Uh, so I mean, that I, I does just... raise the question of what do we wish to do? Yes, and I would hate to if, if this person uh, Kundal really has no idea I mean, he's not to blame. You know, I mean, we don't know the whole story, but I mean, I would like to think if he doesn't know he right. has this affliction that maybe we have some way to possibly help. Because then. <laughs> hey. then what do we do? We hear we have a person, then we can't have this happening every month and killing innocents. The threat of a out of control werewolf is exactly that a threat to the town. Uh, we cannot have one running rampant every high moon. Or beyond that, given the current state of the moon right now. Yes. Yes. I'm just yeah. trying to think if there's a way to help him as well instead of just. I mean, then what do we do? So we, if we find out it is him and it, and it, he has no idea per se, or even if he does, then what do we do? Are, are we, we kick him out or? <laughs> if we are to be merciful, you then should stand trial. Yes, they they should they should stand the legal system, but to be given. Be given a chance to for us to find a way to help them if they are truly innocent of knowing what's going on. They could be contained during their transformations at the very minimum. I do not think we would. We should try a man who is not guilty of his own actions. Well, if he is guilty, then I feel the citizenry would disagree in that. I am sure uh, that the families of those who died will want some sort of justice brought, but if the man does not know what he has done, then it is hard to to form any punishment. I yes. would suggest it, instead, if I if I may, I would suggest mm -hmm. instead educating him on his condition, testing and seeing if we can't figure out exactly what is triggering his transformations control that situation around him and then once every month I get to fight him to subdue him keeping him from causing any harm oddly enough I don't find fault in your thought process here <laughs> Dura's mouth real big and stupid he has figured out a way to justify getting to fight a werewolf once every month my <laughs> bigger concern is even if we, even if he doesn't know, he still still is guilty. He still is guilty. Actions. And while that mitigates the sentencing, I think there needs to be some sort of punishment. 
But how is I mean Would you how is someone for getting sick? Yes, if he doesn't know. I mean, if he doesn't know yes. this is even happening to him, that I don't think we can place blame. But it is, it's it's completely unfortunate, and I understand. Trust me, I I totally understand in in loss and that you want retribution. I don't think that'll ever leave anyone who's had tragic loss in their lives. But I don't think it's fair to someone who, if he truly doesn't know that he did it, to be condemned to whatever fate. I don't disagree. I guess is but it. we have to think a bit pragmatically of how the general populace, who we are asking for them to trust us in matters like this, are going to react once this overall news comes to the forefront and the information that can cause the kind of strife that it will. We need to be able to handle this in a matter that will appease multiple parties at once and allow for us to not have too many shakeups in our foundation of trust. That is all I am saying. Also, I am very much a proponent for if we can contain the individual and help them find a way to be free of this affliction, if possible, uh, then we should follow th that in some way. It's a matter of just the social mitigating, uh, mitigating the social uh, backlash that may occur. That is all I am trying to keep on in mind. And to be clear, I wasn't proposing harsh punishment, but community service, uh, repaying the families in some way, if we do nothing, the citizenry might punish him for us. Yeah, yes. I'm not saying that we don't do something. Something has to be done. Something. I just don't. I don't. I don't want to be heavy-handed. In this theoretical situation that we have proposed, where the man is guilty and only that it was his physical form that killed that the, that killed those two. Uh, that killed those two. Uh, something should be done. But I do not think it should fall to him. I think it... I think it could fall to us to make something right. We are currently the only ones... Uh, there are very few who, we, uh, who know that this thing that we are looking for is a werewolf. We need not spread this information. People will want to know what killed them. Simply saying that it was a danger from the forest that we have handled. A troll. That's, a dire wolf. That's certainly a viable option. Let us, let us see how things play out forward. I agree. There is little to be done talking about it ahead of time when we do not know so much. Alright. So, um, when you guys walk through town and you make it to the address that the man has been staying in, you do find the address itself to be um, empty. Uh, the people that are currently letting uh, Kundal stay here are tending to some small herb gardens out front. Um, they... <laughs> Offer you full access to the building. Say, welcome right on. Go along right inside. Feel free to, you know, investigate as much as you need to. Um, uh, Kundal's been sleeping over by the purple bed, so that's where all of his stuff is. All right. Looking through the purple bed or in his belongings. Yeah. Before we dig too deep into his personal effects, does anything appear to be out of sorts? In Give the me a perception check. Don't think there. 
I don't think that hurts either, but we'll find out. Okay. So, um, you look for a moment, and you can. It just looks like a well lived in bed. Um, at least at first, um, you see some tufts of fur, but being a trapper, you could kind of write that off. However, when you're looking, you look down and you notice something shiny, um, catches your eye underneath the bed. You reach down and in between a crack between two of the floorboards, you pull out a singular bloody earring. Hmm. Huh. Sure, uh, take a look at this. Yeah. I did not take notice what this is. Yeah, the deceased deeper. had worn any earrings. I can go look. You can give me a you can give me a perception check if you want to remember. I will okay. Help you. So Dura, you oh, you don't need to. So Dura, you uh, cool. you recall right off the top of your head that the woman, um, she was missing her left ear, and on her right ear there was a almost identical earring. The woman's body, one of her ears was missing entirely. But when I was looking, I turned her over, and her other ear was there. Earring was not exactly this, but eerily similar. Perhaps yeah, it looks... this one must be bent or or misshapen. Yeah, it looks as if a, possibly a piece of it might be missing, or simply just broken. I think that this is some jamming in. Town. I agree. We need to find this Quindal, and we need to speak to him directly. Possible if we wait here long enough, he will return. Yes, and I don't mind waiting. He's mm. been here at least once. Was the earring hidden? Um, it it did not look as if it was intentionally hidden. Like it wasn't tucked underneath something. It looked as if it had rolled underneath the bed and fell into the um, crack between two floorboards. And in fact, you can even see very small blood stains on the ground where the earring appears to have skipped off the floorboards. It wasn't hidden from us so much as we it, it could have just fallen from him. My concerns with waiting here for him is if he doesn't return until after nightfall. I think we have... There will not be a full moon for another two nights, I believe. But... Full moon is not what is triggering his transformation. At least not currently. Perhaps the couple whose house this is may may know more about his whereabouts. Are you gonna go outside and ask him? Yeah. Hey. Yes. Where is Kundal now? Do you know? Oh no, not at all. Um, he. Honestly, usually only shows up for a few hours early in the morning to fall asleep. He's usually gone rest of the day. And you know not where he goes? No, just that he heads out of town. Has any of his behavior recently seemed off to you? I mean, he drinks a lot. He comes home smelling like whiskey a lot of the time. Does he? Yeah. Are there like a bunch of empty bottles or anything? Uh, you can definitely see some like empty flasks and stuff. And when, if you go to smell them, it definitely smells like grain alcohol. 
evidence of alcoholism. Yeah. It's some evidence of heavy alcoholism. I wonder if his drink is, uh, it's lowering his control. I guess it may be triggering this change. Or if it has an additive that just happens to aggravate the wolf side. Do you know where he tends to uh, venture off to for his for any of his trapping? Just out in the woods. I I wouldn't know. All right. We'll see if any of the woodsmen have seen him then. And they've out been gathering resources. We should honestly go find Kundaya. Yes, that was going to be my next thought. Uh, let's let's gather and find. Uh, see if anyone has seen Kundaya any recently. Because I have another thought as well, and it requires dogs' help. I mean, yeah, we should grab something <laughs> of. Kundal's like a hat or sock or something and, and see if we can have a Kundayo on the dog and track, track where he goes. Pillowcase. It's more it's simpler if a sock goes missing. But if there is a sock to take? But it cannot be cleaned. It cannot have been laundered recently. Hello, Case. How often do you wash that? Regularly, if I can. Dura looks at you like you're weird for that. <laughs> I like things to be comfy, thank you. There is comfort in one's own scent. Hmm. I can't say that I completely agree with you, but I understand your sentiment. How else to make something smell like home? At this point, nowhere smells like home for me, but that is neither here nor there. We're working on fixing that. All right, well, we grab something that clearly has uh, would have his scent on in any case, and then I guess we go and find Akundayo. Okay, yep, and Akundayo is with the rest of your companions back at the town hall, so. Do you guys do anything when we're not around? I mean, I've been helping set up some... um, some some trapping routes and stuff for some of the guys nearby. Speaking of that, actually, um, can you come with us for a moment? Sure. What can I help Let's... you with? Myth pulls him off to like a quieter side area where they won't be disturbed or overheard easily. You've been helping set up with uh, local trappers, hunters, and woodsmen. The the new. The newer trapper of the last week, Kundal. Have you worked with him at all? Um, actually, he's been pretty uh, avoiding of working with us. Uh, he goes off on his own for the most part. That's what I figured, and was also afraid of. Yeah, there's some. He he's definitely not the cooperative sort, or at least um, not outwardly so. Uh, I can tell you at least a general area of where he hunts, though. He's usually right here on the north under north western side of the river. Thank you. That's actually very helpful and was going to be my follow up question. Yeah, careful though. A couple of a uh, couple of the local guys have been saying that they've seen some pretty large wolves in that area, so. If That's... you're going to go that way, be... proceed with caution. Ooh. It's actually what we're hoping for. Yeah, Not it's strange. It I didn't really think we had that many wolves around here, but... We don't, but some something's a little odd, and we're, we're trying to investigate it. He may Obviously. Be, he may have more information since he's been 
seeming to be more out in the woods than even you and the other compatriots have Yeah, been. he definitely seems to head further out of town than most. Um, All right. Then that, that gives us a heading and was exactly what we were hoping for. If, uh, if at some point in the near future, could we utilize dog's assistance in tracking something? I mean, I don't have an issue with this. Um, I know. Uh, I know he tends to stick to you, hence why I figured I would. Yeah, I mean, I can always come along and make make sure he does his job. I'm an expert tracker as well, so I I could probably help a little bit. Then, depending on what we find, you will be of great use in the coming days as we figure out what's going on with this wolf infestation. Do you need my help now, or are you going out there? We're going to go out there, but we're not quite sure we're not quite sure what we're going to find, and I don't want to drag you on a goose chase. But you're certainly welcome to join us on this leg if uh, you don't mind that it might be a bit of non-directed searching. I mean, if we're looking to track something, that's the, something I'm fairly good at. But I'm uh, not, Myth- not sure if you, if you want the assistance or not. Um, Myth turns to the others. Well, what do you think? Have the extra pair of eyes who knows what he's doing? The sooner we can track it down, the better. I agree. Then let's have you come along. All right. If we can't get to the bottom of this strangeness. What? As we... These people really are doing well for themselves. This giant fucking house. Man, this this, <laughs> house, <laughs> this mansion of a single room house. <laughs> Just imagine what our rooms look like. If this is what base housing in town looks like, I can't wait to see the palace. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, okay. Hold on. What the hell did hey, what I the do fuck? here? Maybe it's an open space living, and they each have like their little this is a square? Like yeah, it's 110 by 110. It looks like a rectangle. <laughs> like, it looks like it's slightly taller than it is wide. Does nobody else see that? Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. <laughs> but it is not. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it's, it's because it's our, our screens are wider than they are tall. Is it? Yes. Oh. I just sort of assumed that would be would have been corrected. Well, it's because we have to scroll to see the whole thing. Yeah. I guess if you scroll out way far, it loses that, yeah. It also could be because the room trappings are uh, not centered. Well, I mean, you put the rug near the entrance, that way you wipe your feet. Yes, but whoever... Put the bed here is a fucking monster. We haven't introduced... They haven't been to Zian Tian yet. They don't know Feng Shui. It's okay. Let them be. <laughs> ah, yes. The mystic arts of Feng Shui. Mm-hmm. Alright, and I guess we set off to go... See if we can't find this guy. Yeah, hold on. There we go. What? I, I apparently didn't uh, didn't fill out any of Akundayo's stats. <laughs> uh. 
Oh no. Oh yeah. No. Guess what I'm definitely not gonna do? Fill out his stats because Just fill out his stats. <laughs> yeah. We are moving to Foundry soon. It won't matter. Uh why Beavery. Why, why, why are we rolling for Why are we rolling for failing what are you failing yes. the steel? No, I Nothing. wasn't trying. I apparently I was typing everything into the wrong place. What what were you intending? Where you ended up at thievery? Uh, I, I I was trying to roll survival. <laughs> oh yeah, they're right next to each other. That yeah, makes sense. I was gonna yeah, say if it was like acrobatics, then I was gonna. Well, I mean, it would have been the same mo same modifier anyway, but it doesn't matter. All right, so same result anyway. Uh, Kitoki. Oh, before we depart, because we're in the we're in the building with the rest of our NPCs too, right? Yes. Uh, by the way, when we were re when we returned from Bravoy, uh, you should know we found a large. Uh, crevice where we believe that there is a sizable vein of gold. We'd like to establish a mining operation there. So whoever okay, wants well, to see well, to that. We have to settle the um, area before we can start building a mine there, but that's a good direction for us to build in. Yeah, we at least have the idea of where it's going to be so we, we can move in that direction sooner rather than later. Yeah, we should be able to get there fairly quickly if we gun for it. I think that is what our collective intentions were. Okay. Is there anything else you guys wanted to do before you headed out? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. So then you guys, uh, you head out. It does take you probably another five hours or so um, to get into the area that um, Akundayo said that this man would be known for hunting. Right. Um, and then it takes you probably another... 30 to 45 minutes before Kundayo and Dog pick up on his track, on his trail, and start actively chasing him down. Um, oh, wait, there's a better way to do this, isn't there? Just checking. Whatever we find, we're not killing, yes? Yes, we're. Whatever we find, we find, and we'll figure out what we find. So after a while, you guys come to the clearing and you can see as the man is um, kneeled down and tending to what appears to be a snare. You do see a very large and three quarters of the way empty bottle of whiskey on the ground next to him as well. Greetings, friends. Are you the one that uh, is goes by the name of Kundal? Uh, that that be me. Is there something I can do for you? You came to town within the last week, yes? Yeah, I just moved in like. Six days ago. You seem to be the, uh, the trapper who's out to this far. Have you seen anything strange with the wildlife? Any, uh, like with any large wolves in the area? We've gotten reports that something odd's going on with the predators, and we're just trying to figure out what's going on to make sure that the citizenry is safe. 
You know, Especially I've been hearing kids. that a lot from people, though I haven't, I can't say I've seen any wolves myself. Um, there was this massive owlbear that ran through here, like, a week ago, but yeah, it just we're, kind of tore through. We're aware of that one. We're not quite sure what the hell its deal is, but we're steering clear for the time being. I would yeah, like well... Fight. You just kind of raise this an eyebrow. <laughs> yes, sir. If if it comes at us, you're you're going toe to toe. Oh, I'm just telling him. <laughs> toe to claw. I want to be the one to fight it. I don't want to give that fight to someone else. Hey, have you had any weird dreams lately? Um. You mentioned that, and his face kind of goes very pale. And he just kind of, like, nervously goes to focus back on his traps. Yeah, I thought um, so. Well, I, I, I can't say I've been uh, doing too good with the sleeping. That's why uh, I got my old sleeping buddy here next to me. He pulls up the bottle of alcohol and takes a swig. Sleeping during the day isn't exactly what you want to be doing. Listen, the stuff knocks me out at least to the point where I don't... Where you don't what? Don't have weird dreams with just rage and hunger. Yeah. All right, friend. You mind sharing that bottle? We gotta. We we're gonna have a conversation. And Dara just like approaches him, like open arms and as friendly as he can make himself appear. Give me a diplomacy check. Yep. <laughs> I was trained, I'd help, but... I'm also not trained. This is one of those... This is to make an impression, so technically you don't have to be trained for this one. Plus he's drunk, so... You've been talking to him. I think you could... Uh, we at least aid each other, right? Yeah. Right, also, fun, fun thing I learned about the remaster. The new aid DC is 15, not 20. Hey. Oh. Oh, it, it makes, it makes this, aid this infinitely isn't better. Terrible. Reasonable. That's terrible! <laughs> oh my god. You want to hear? And I used that? my hero point already, so I don't have... <laughs> yeah, me... Oh, I'll, I'll spend my hero point I'll, for you. No, me, no, no, me no, should, don't do that. Yeah. I'll give him one. I'll give him one. Excellent. I am immediately using it. That's much better. Yeah. I was very okay. ready to roll a six, to be completely honest. <laughs> so he just kind of like looks up at you both. Um, he seems just a little confused um, and, and a bit anxious, but he allows you to approach and, you know, uh, upstretches the bottle. Yeah, Dura, Dura takes it and takes a swig and uh, it looks like Misha is also approaching. But Myth is staying back. No, I'm approaching. It's just not letting yeah. me pick up my damn thing. Dura, Dura passes uh, the bottle to Myth. Uh, Myth takes a nice, healthy swig. This is definitely whiskey. Does anything is taste off about it? Nope. Okay. Pass it back to him, I it's guess. Che yep. It's cheap. <laughs> it doesn't taste particularly good, but it's alcohol. Yeah. No, but it... It definitely, like... It, in the back of Myth's mind, it's, it's kind of clearing a few clues. Alright, so... I only know one way to do this, and it's straight on. What do you know about werewolves? 
We're wolves. Uh huh. Uh, Lycanthropy. Not not much, I suppose. Where are you going with this? All right, let me guess. You uh, you have an allergy to silver. Your skin reacts poorly to it. You don't wear it. No jewelry made of silver. No girls that or guys, I guess. None of their jewelry, right? Uh, I I can't say I've tried. Yeah, fair enough. All right, well, we're thinking you're a werewolf. Uh, we're thinking you got some sort of disease curse thing that turns you into a big wolf man. Go on a killing spree, which would explain the nightmares. Because it's your subconscious or whatever, perceiving what you're not actually perceiving. While well, you're not you. I used a lot of big words, Myth. Did I use them right? Uh, yes, you use them correctly, actually. Like, very, very correctly. Um, Dura, you get a weird, almost tingling feeling that crawls up your spine as you notice a weird sheen in his eyes for a moment as you can visibly see him start to really zone out. Um, and then he blinks once and you notice his eyes are now yellow. Yeah, hey, you're doing it now. See, Myth? Look at his eyes. They're like, well, they're not like yours, but they're kind of like yours. They're not normal, that's what I'm trying to say. No, oh, no, I, I see exactly what you're talking about, and I I don't like it. I don't, I don't like oh. what's, what's happening. So, you see as his body slowly, uh, well, not slowly, more with loud cracks and a sudden jarring Almost oh. explosion of fur and muscle seems to shape into a lycanthrope, clawing and snarling at you. Now, he does appear to be smaller than you would expect um, most lycanthropes to be, Dura. You would expect them to be large-sized. This one is not. Okay. Um, uh, I would say... That I'll... said... No, that said, you can see that he seems to be far more densely muscled than you would also expect a lycanthrope to be. Yeah. Uh, I think Dura doesn't, like, he kind of anticipates what's to come here. Like, this is no longer conversation, probably. Uh, and he yeah. sure as hell wouldn't wait for the dude to transform. He's not Goku. Uh, so I think my intention here is to, like, try to tackle him mid-transformation, and perhaps uh, begin initiative by rolling uh, athletics instead of perception. Absolutely. Go right ahead. Alright. That would also shift me closer to him. So you lunge at him and you try to grab him. You are not successful. Fair enough. Okay. Dog gets the initiative, but we all know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's we all know who the hero is, and it's Dog. Yeah. It is Doge. Fucking initiatives, you guys. Holy shit. Yeah, dude. Everybody's on, on, the, on we're not, the jump. We're not giving him a chance. <laughs> well, Myth, you are up first. Yeah, of course I am. All right. All right, Dura, how do we want him? Well, not in pieces. Cool. Then... 
I'm going to use... Uh, I mean, he's going to be a big guy. If you have to use... So if you got to do some nasty shots to him first, then, uh, then yeah, we can well, worry about it when he looks like he's about to give up the goat. That'll work, then. I'll take aim and give one one good healthy shot right to the torso. So, you miss. Oh. Oh, that's how we're doing this. Okay. All right. Uh, conjuring another bullet and second shot. You miss again. Oh! Oh, that's how we're doing it. Okay. <coughs> cool. Oh, all right. M Misha, help. <laughs> we're, uh... <laughs> We're gonna need some of that, uh, that some of that boosty juice vocals you got going on there, pal. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, interesting. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck. What, mm. what to do? I, I do believe. I do believe uh, we um, we may or may not be, as the kids call it, cooked. <laughs> now nah, we're cooking. You guys are fine. Ugh. Oh, we're fine. Yes. I'm sitting in a comfy chair. Myth, on the other hand, is about to have eight layers of ass kicking handed to him. You're not in melee range and got your ass beat by a bunch of thorn bushes earlier today. Uh, not my fault you lost the thorn bushes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Misha. All right, I was I, all right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do the buffer. So he he just yells out. Uh, he goes, uh, "Be like Dura and Myth." Uh, you too, Zandri. He just tossed that in. He just casts Inspire Courage. Um, but I'm gonna do uh, <laughs> yourselves. Do that. As, yeah, as I do that, he's gonna do uh, a flourish with the whip to do lingering composition. Your buff was the moral of the story. <laughs> <laughs> Just be yourself. Uh, Careful, if we're ourselves too much, we're gonna die to bushes and rain. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I wanted. Um, so I have to do. Well, I'm sorry. Getting the performance check. Yeah. Remember how to do the sheet. Oh, let's go. Fuck yeah. Four rounds. All right. So, and then the Inspire Courage. Just plus one. And then... um, Yeah, he actually then pulls out of his, his little uh, a pouch that he has, and he, he flips, a, flips a silver coin in the air, and it splits into three needles, and he casts three silver needle darts. Go at uh because he's using with silver it. coins. Is that going to proc his silver weakness? So, if he would have hit, yes. Nice. That's really cool. Oh wait, cool. hold on, hold on a second. I actually have to ask this, Misha. Do you take your own um plus one from Inspire Courage? I do. Then that yeah. would be a twenty-five, which barely hits. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's what we're cooking with. Okay. <laughs> we learned the AC, guys. You yeah, did, you learned good. the AC. So he'll no, take, uh... Piercing. Nine piercing. <laughs> uh, that ends my turn. Here we go. Wow, okay. All right. That is your turn. He definitely, like, lets out a howl and a bit of a yelp from the silver that stabs into his body. You can definitely tell that that hurt more than you thought it would have normally. Um, And then it is his turn. Uh, how am I going to have some fun here? I 
Okay. Four. Right away, he's gonna what? jump, lunge, and take a, um, oh god, Jesus. a bite at, at, that, that was at you, my friend. At me? Yep. It does hit. Okay. I hope so. Not oh, a critical, I hope. No, not a critical. No? Okay, I do need a fortitude what? save. Because <laughs> you take 19 piercing I want to be, can I just choose to, I want to be a werewolf. I, it's, so, you fail. Yeah, Werewolf Dura! <laughs> We're just gonna keep shoving things inside of him. Dragons, <laughs> werewolves, shut up, Zandri. <laughs> I heard what so, you I know what you're thinking. Dura, you, Dura, you don't necessarily feel any, um, like, outwardly negative effects immediately other than you start to get a cold sweat that seems to take over your body as his teeth sink down into your shoulders. This fear? No, it can't be fear. I'm not afraid of this. That's his internal okay. monologue. And then I need to... Hold on. That, uh, that does fucking hurt, though. Oh, it's... Trust me, it's it's about to get about to get worse. Yeah. Um, oh no, you're gonna get freaking. Uh, oh no. <laughs> like you're gonna get. Uh, oh god! So Holy that's that's, shit. Jesus. that's technically that's technically a thirty, because it does take the multiple attack penalty. But that is the 30 against your fortitude DC. I get my fortitude DC? Yep. Uh, my fortitude DC is a 22. So it is only a hit. Yep. So then you will take 9 um, piercing damage. Okay. And you are dragged to the ground over here. I've got you right where I want you! Is he basically starts gnawing his teeth further into your body. I am um, at, uh, I'm at 10 hit points. Oh. I started out at half. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, why? <laughs> because I got my ass beat by thorn bushes. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we never uh. successfully healed me. Good news, I, there's a potion on my belt. Okay. Oh, and then he misses. Yeah. Why, the was all three. Why did you transform? We were trying to be nice! <laughs> He does not seem to be appearing to, to be paying attention to what you were saying. It's not for him. <laughs> it's, it's not for him. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. This is actually fairly easy because I only need the one character open. So, first things first, um, Akundayo will mark prey, and then hunter shot. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. So, um, you guys watch as Akundeo pulls back the bow and goes to fire the arrow, and the arrow seems to, like, get caught, like, on a piece of his clothing, whips around, and part of the arrow stabs him in the arm. What the f Trust me. What it's is actually funny. happening to us tonight? <laughs> yep. At least it's not weather. 
It, it is a rather clear night sky tonight. <laughs> Um, okay. Second action will be fucking fire again, I guess. That will also miss. And then he will command dog. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh no, the crit hurt uh, too badly. <laughs> He's offline. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Hi. <laughs> it just disconnected randomly. All right, so dog ran up, and uh, that was that was Dur's, uh, Dur, Dur, That was uh, Ikudayo's turn. Dura. Uh, Dura is grappled. Correct. Correct. Dura is grabbed. All right. Um. Hmm. First thing he's gonna do, we're gonna draconic claw. So that's activated. Second thing we're gonna do. Oh. What? So. Oh no. Oh. oh no. Uh, I don't think that. Does that have? Triggers it. Does it have the does it have the manipulate trait? Um, I, more I, I was gonna say I don't verbal. Oh no! If it's just a verbal component, it does not. Yeah, I was mind. gonna say I, I specifically like uh, tested for this. Um, yeah, I think it's just yeah. I don't trigger. No, that. if yeah, if it doesn't have the somatic component, then no, you don't. There you go. Yeah, it's just uh, verbal. Yeah, so which is usually you're, just you're him real... like shouting at the enemy. Yeah, so you're real lucky. You do not proc attack of opportunity fine. with that spell. Fine. Yeah. Um. And yeah, I don't dare do anything other than hit it. Hang on. I need to Google something really quick. Sorry for the delay. Yep, yep can't do that. Fuck. All right. Um, then we just hit it. Not ideal. Uh, first attack. Hey, it hits. And it's a slow rolls, but that'll be twelve plus four fire. Plus one. Oh, you're right. Thirteen. Well, uh, thirteen slashing plus uh, I guess five fire. I'm not really sure if it just does it to no, the it, base or. It, it, it... It's just to the to the base damage. It, okay. it only applies once. So I, I thought that would be weird to apply twice. Yeah. So hold on. That's a total of seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Nope. Fuck. Okay. And the second attack. That'll miss. Miss. You know, he really caught me off guard. I, uh, I don't know. I could use some help. I'm not feeling you very do, good. Um, with the successful melee attack, though, you do also manage to escape. So there's that. Oh, that's true. <clears throat> I, well, in any case, I'm still prone on the ground, so that's not good. 
<laughs> yeah, um, you still are. Well, I guess it. Can I have taken that second attack back then to have stood up? Because I I didn't realize that it would break me out of his attack. I thought that would had to be a decided uh, attack, but. No, no, it, it's fine. It could break him out. I mean, if you want to take out, take back that second attack and stand up, you can. Just keep in mind that standing up provokes attack of opportunity. Oh, that does, though. Yeah, you're right. Oh. Now, we'll just leave it as is. All right, that's my turn. <laughs> yeah. All right. I am in a not good spot. <laughs> no, no, you are not. I'm going to charge in my exact 25-foot movement, activate my aura, which gives dog fire resistance, mm -hmm. and it gives the werewolf weakness to fire impulses. Oh, oh okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, very cool. All right, all right. Uh, what's, what's the weakness? This should have a number uh, associated with yes, it. Yes, it, it changes, so I have to look. Uh, half my level. So, so four? You're... Three. Or two. Th three. Three. It rounds you, up? You, you are five, so yeah, it should be three. Okay. It's always half your level rounded up. It's the same as uh, spellcasting ranks. Okay. Um, and then I will use my last action to hope hero point that, because holy fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It only go up. <laughs> wow. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Oh. I will give you another hero point to use. And I will immediately 14, use it, because holy 14. fuck. Thank there you. There we go. We're you talking hit. about yeah, well, thirteen fire damage, fourteen with the Misha. I don't know how weakness works with the Misha. Yeah. All right. Yeah. How does the weakness work? What is that? Uh... We well, he he just he takes an additional three damage from sources of fire. So. Uh, okay. Fire impulses only. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. But, but your your attack is an impulse, so yes. Yes, just I know, I thought it was for Dura too, but no, it's just impulses. I even double checked the. Yeah, Dura this. is impulsive, but not the same. No. All right, that's all three of your actions. Yep. So all right. does that mean if I were to have a fire tag, it has to have an impulse trait? Like, what does that mean? Yep. Impulse. Yeah. Impulse okay. means it's a kineticist only thing. So you yep. wouldn't even have access to it. Unless you Got it. archetype into it at some point, but... Yeah. Got it. So if I hit it with fire, it wouldn't get the extra. No. Okay. No, but me, Dog, and Dura all have fire resistance currently. Mm -hmm. Yes. Got it. Right. Myth. Blasting this motherfucker. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Shoot her. Shoot a better. That does not hit. Nope. Shit, shit, and shit. I, uh, I would like to keep my hero point. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> Yo, it's, it, it's fair at this point. Um... <laughs> That's not considered a test of skill, right? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Let me check something. Nope. Yeah, nope. That's, that's all I've got right now. Because I have to use my second action to reload. All right. Okay. So one action shoot, one action reload. You got one more. Yeah, let's let's try what? it. No, uh, yes, yes. Ah, oh wait, oh, Misha's yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. you oh, barely God. hit. Okay. Okay. There you go. Goodness. Oof. 
chunk right. away at it. We're we're doing this. He is looking decently wounded at this point. He's bleeding from several noticeable parts. He doesn't look like he's getting ready to fall over, but he's injured and noticeably. I would like to make note that I think our plan of conversation may not be the uh, result we're going to uh, want to stick with, given that just bringing the topic up seemed to turn this guy. I think it wasn't the topic. I think it was the whiskey. I think it. I think it weakens his will, yes. making him more susceptible to the to the influence of his disease. Well, we'll have to investigate it. No time like the present. Yeah. Damn. Misha, please and, make sure he doesn't die. Yeah, and I was just saying, how is Dura looking, actually? Not good. Uh, bad. Good. He's right. looking so, bad. Uh, yeah, Misha, he takes the whip, and he just yells out, he goes, stand up and fight! We need you! And he hits him with a, a third-level soothe, so you'll get 31. Fuck. Love that. That is fantastic. That's what we call exactly what we need. Hit points is two action, and then as he does that with his other hand, he just brings it up, and I cast shield on myself. Oh my god, this is fucked. This is great. Soothe and shield. Okay. So that soothe was on Dura, I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. <laughs> on the werewolf. <laughs> well, it's not. the werewolf's turn. Please do not soothe the werewolf. What a soothing touch you have, Grandma. <laughs> All right, yeah. Daryl. Let's yeah. let's see what we got. Pick me up with your mouth. That hits. Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> exactly what he just got back. I just got those. Oh, man. Is Minus five. Uh, so he fails. Yep. So you do not. Um. Okay, so you will take... Oh, so, I'm sorry. I still take uh, nine. You still take nine, and you are still moved five feet. I got one left. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, uh, can I have any influence on where I move? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <Okay. laughs> and then... um. You know what? He is going to release you and try to take a bite out of Zandri. And will miss. It's because Zandri's a slippery snake. Uh, he barely missed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. What are you doing in melee with an even worse AC than me? <laughs> uh, yes. So, I got some way to go out like Dura. I got down with the thickness. Down with the thickness. <laughs> He's got HP for You'll days. Be like a chew toy. <laughs> I have seventy. <laughs> there we fucking go. All right. Yay! Another okay. 31, yeah. That's 21. Whew. 
and that will miss. And then he will command Dog to do a biting. And Dog will do him a biting. Fucking dog will do a biting. All right. Yeah. Dog bites All the right. werewolf. All right, and you can tell the dog starts latching on to the thing's ankles. Reverse um, werewolf, reverse werewolf, reverse werewolf. <laughs> Who calls himself God? Yeah, exactly. He transforms oh, at the sight of a full moon. No. Uh, no no uh, of the empty moon. Yeah, he wears. transforms on a new moon. And a new moon he transforms into God. He does transforms dog get into this, a person. Does Dog get the plus one bonus? He does, but um, it doesn't make anything a crit or anything like that. So. Right. Got it. Okay. Well, I didn't know if it, it would understand, like, even if it's an owl. I guess it's an owl. Yeah, it's an ally, so technically, yes, he does get your spell benefit. All right, Zandri, you're up. Uh, I cast Fire Fist. Nope. I cast Lesser Fire. Wow. There is. I'm just. <laughs> See you all next week, folks. Critical miss. <laughs> That That's is a critical, critical miss. You will, uh, you will punch, and uh, you uh, unfortunately you slip a little bit in the mud, so you get a little off guard. Meh. Is that your turn? That's three actions. Yep, okay. Myth. Eat lead. <laughs> Damn it. No, again. <laughs> All right, reload, try again. Eat lead. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. It's not a critical. So it it is a it's critical not. miss. Plus one. Even with the plus, even with the plus one, it is still a critical miss. Yeah, 25 it's a twenty five. Yeah, it's exactly a critical miss. Yeah, a fifteen it's... is exactly a critical miss. Yeah, it's ten. No, below. no, yeah. no, no, because it is not more than ten. No, if meeting is still. But meeting hits AC. And, and so if fifteen you meet minus it should it should it, it, it meet, um meeting twenty five would hit the AC, so a fifteen would be a hit, though it is only technically nine less. I mean, you are the DM, so you get ultimate say, but uh, I, I just wanted to make my point. No, I. I get, I get what you're saying. It's just on it's that same fucking. note. Yeah, on that same note, if your AC is a 25, a 35 crits. Um, a 35 also. Uh, also, if your AC is a 25 and you roll a 15, technically that is still supposed to be a crit miss, I believe. And that is exactly the scenario we're running into here. 
Both your logics are sound. Unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. If your AC um, is 25, a 35 is does a critical success. crit because it is 10 more. Right. But and if 15 your AC is, is 20... only 9 less because a 25 does hit. It's like counting from 0 to get to 10 is you count 11 total numbers versus counting from 1 to 10 is like or, or 0 to 10 is 10 numbers but 1 to 10 is only 9 numbers. Right, but it's not it's not it's not counted from the fail, it's counted from the DC. If the DC is 25, you crit fail on a number that is 10 lower than that. Fair enough. Same works on skill checks. Uh, so yeah. All right. That's still a crit miss. Your yeah. gun jams. Great. <laughs> Misha. <laughs> Please keep Dura standing. God. Yeah, you see Dura, but I'm like, what? what no, what, I got what this. What are you doing? Hit him. He, he hit, him another, hit him, damn it. Hit him. Hits him with another. Uh, no, no, no. Hit, hit him, bird. not me. Hit him. Ew. <laughs> you get 29. All right. <laughs> And then I, I'm like, take care of this! And he then just can't shield him, so. <laughs> See how it's fair. Um... All right. Guess guess dog's getting it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. oh. So it's uh -oh. not a crit. Oh, uh, oof. But, I thought um, that was it. I thought that was it for dog. <laughs> it definitely <laughs> hurt. Um, That's all right. I, I hate to say, but yeah. the pulling. <laughs> all right. Doctor is angry. Okay. Oh my God. So dog gets torn into you twice. Let's out this. Horrible high pitched yeah. high pitched yelp. Yeah. And then you'll watch as the werewolf leans over to go to try to rip out dog's throat. And when he does, he slips a little on the mud and falls to one knee. So he is off guard. It is Akundeo's turn. And that misses. He's technically still in your aura, so that technically hits. Oh, he's off guard, so that would have hit anyway. Boom. This is, uh... Akundaya. Bound. Okay. Then his last action is to command dog to um keep ripping them apart. One thing you notice is that um Akundayo seems remarkably detached to the fact that the dog is being like torn apart here. 
Yeah. It's not him we like, it's dog. Yeah. True. Okay. We we understand the, the discrepancy here. Ugh, unfortunately that still misses. Dog unfortunately slips on his own blood and falls prone. This is fine, we're fine. <laughs> Dura! First action, Dura stands. Okay, so he's off guard. He can still attack of opportunity. Yeah, you said he's off guard, not prone. I, I caught that. Christ. Um, that does crit me. You'll take 28 points of damage. <laughs> That's not enough! And, uh... Dura is going to... Uh... Attempt to... Uh, Dura takes uh takes the offensive and begins pummeling the fuck out of this guy, warding aggression. Uh so I'm going to make a melee strike with my draconic claws, and depending on the, the success level of my strike, uh and a number of different things could happen. Okay. Fuck. Uh, hear a point, please. Okay. Has to be better. Has to be better. Ah, still misses. Still fail. Uh, a yep. failure gives me a plus one status bonus to AC against him. Okay. Uh, and that'll end up being my turn. Wait, hold on. Hoping for it to hit. Wait, sorry. Yes. I, I... You have the plus one from Misha, and he's off guard. A oh! Oh, nice. Hell yeah. All right. So that's uh, 14 slashing damage, and eight fire for a total of 22 plus one, 23 damage. My fire doesn't proc his weakness, so just 23. Okay. There you go. How's he looking? He's looking very heavily injured at this point. Uh, he's he is bleeding from a bunch of different spots. A bunch of parts of his fur are looking burnt and mangy. Um, you can even smell the cooked flesh coming off of his body. Knock him out! Um, Zandri, it is your turn. I have to figure out how I can do something without... Uh... Building the players. <laughs> um, how does one do non-lethal damage? I think you can so get it. Any, any attack can be made non-lethally with a minus two to hit. And being that he's off guard, it just ends up negating itself out. So, okay. yeah, I guess I'll attempt to. Yes. Okay. Do the worst possible damage possible, but okay. No, that could have been worse. It could have been 10. Alright, he is still standing. And that that will um Miss? Nah. Yeah, the Xandri will flop onto his face. Miss. <laughs> Just shoot him. <laughs> 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 just just a very sad myth. Do the thing. Was, he's got a jammed he's got a jammed gun, right? Yeah, I have a fucking yeah, he does jammed, have a jammed gun. gun. Uh, oh, you're you're gonna, gonna, what am I gonna, gonna have to do for that? It's a crafting check that takes a minute. Yeah, Get a yeah, different gun. Oh. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to unjam the gun. Yet. Yep. Oh, 
I thought you had more than one gun that yeah, we no, lost in the uh, in the fire. <sighs> the only gun I could grab was the arquebus. <laughs> you have a breath weapon. Uh, I, that's not non-lethal. Any attack can be non-lethal. How? How hand. am I turning pure damage into non-lethal? You, you target his feet. I don't know. <laughs> Is it even an attack? No, it's a DC check. Excellent. <laughs> so it, it can't, it can't be tail. non-lethal. You have a tail, yeah. right? I have a few things I'm going to try. They're not going to be great, but I'm going to try them. Hey. You can, oh, you can try. Anything with an attack roll can be non-lethal. Yeah. It's... I don't have enough fucking movement to get to him. What? No, I have to. I have to spend two actions to get into range with him. Like there? Why? Yep. Why? Move. You can move Her through was. ally squares. Oh, I forgot that. Yeah, the, ally the... squares you can move through no problem. Yeah, we'll let, we'll to let move you, through uh... an enemy square. I one hundred percent forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> your, your your allies are not immovable walls that are impossible to climb. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> wings flared. He just kind of jettisons forward into melee range and uh, kind of spins the tail right at his face. It's probably not going to hit, but let's see what happens. Holy Whoa! shit! <laughs> the fuck was that? Rule of you, baby. You use tail whip. Let's see how effective it is. Yeah. His defense yeah. falls yeah. by two. Three. He is still standing. Goodness. Oh. I would have laughed if that would have knocked him out. <laughs> oh, I would have I... cried. That would have been poetic. Uh, so I got, um, what, one action left? Yeah. Cool. I'm going <laughs> to smack him in the head with a wing. Okay. Um, with the 23, he is off guard. That will hit. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, you smack him in the tail with your wing. Right, you, smack, you smack him in the face with your tail. His head goes back. You see him kind of like almost stunned for a minute. He begins to snarl. You raise your wing and you like karate chop him in the forehead with the wing. And he falls unconscious. I said, knock it the fuck off. Uh, I thought you were going to say Mama said knock you out. I do. What? what? You are all out of combat, and that is where I am going to end the session for tonight. Ah, damn. Holy yeah, shit. You and, I, you and I are going to have to talk, because, yeah. We're just... We're just making an elixir of Dura bullshit at this point. <laughs> oh no, yeah, I can't for, fit for, another archetype into my build. For for out of game clarification, Dura absolutely contracted lycanthropy. Oh yeah. No. Oh yeah. Um, I, yeah. I was I there was That's no part of me out of that. Yeah. Oh no. Can I have bonus? And there's a feet? full moon. <laughs> and there's a full moon in two days. Yeah, so, um, uh, bitch. <laughs> Dura the werewolf. Uh, with the dra Dura the dragon werewolf. Holy shit, guys! You're fucked. <laughs> look, look, look. You have officially become my actual online like creature moniker, and it is fucking beautiful. <laughs> I, I am someone's persona. <laughs> yes, that is exactly what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> God <laughs> damn! Oh my God, what a session! Holy, Holy shit! Guys. shit. <laughs> I, I, oh, I humbly request shit. bonus feats, or I'll fall more apart than I already am. <laughs> my build will lose all like cohesion. <laughs> no, uh, so it's. Yeah, it's it. You'll get some some interesting. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck even is in the goddamn werewolf archetype? 
Um, so it's not an archetype. Um, um it's a you template? just no. Um, you just <laughs> you're you're gonna be making a you're gonna be making a fortitude save once a month for the rest of your life. All right. Or until um, we cure it. Or until There's you cure it. And cure if you it. fail, if you fail, you turn into one of those. All right. Uh, Sweet buddy, uh, Jeebus. The bulldog version of a werewolf? Yeah. Small and meaty? Yeah, Bred to of. have breathing issues. Very, very lean. It, it, one thing, like, he, he got surrounded, so it was hard for me to display, but he was much faster than a normal werewolf. We mm. didn't give him the chance. Yeah. I was not expecting uh, that tail to hit. Hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, all right, zero have, like, strength, here we go. Does the dog have lycanthropy? No, the dog okay. cannot contract it. Is dog <laughs> breathing? Shame. Dog is breathing, but dog has a whopping four HP. Okay. I got the battle sweats. Xandri didn't <laughs> get hit, too. Did, did you get hit, Xandri? Or no? For once? No. Oh, excellent. For twice, yes. You know, I was gonna say that last uh that last soothe you didn't have to use on me. Uh which is what Dura was yelling, like, don't use don't don't do that, like hit it. But like it enabled Myth to knock it out with his unarmed strikes, and that is way more beautiful than anything else that could have happened. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. You jammed your gun, you got pissed, you ran in, you used tail whip, it was super effective. Because uh, even while I re remember, I can always, like, use my reaction to just not die instead. It's true. Yeah. And the push book 12 HP now. And, and uh, it, it's, yeah, it would have healed me. I would have I gotten a free heal from 1 to 12. <laughs> it's instinct, just he's healing... Uh... Oh yeah, he's no, that was everybody that that's was, bigger did, than him. That you he did looks exactly up to him, what so. you should have done. Yeah, playing the character, hundred percent. Uh, but no, with with you going down, I was I kept wanting to go on the offensive, but for two rounds, I just had a, I did the heal heal. Yeah, I um, was yeah, and, and I was great. Just, you could couldn't do anything, but I I had plans to do because I do have like a non lethal, uh, I guess attack per se. Yeah, yeah I but I just never got a chance to do it. And then the the wing thing, you coming in like that, that was pretty cool. So I wasn't oh. sure how much was left. Uh, apparently four or less. Four. It was exactly four. Hot damn! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I I gotta get going because my allergies are killing me. Yeah, I'm gonna get going too. I got work in the morning. Okay. Godspeed, uh, one and all. Thank you all for watching. We now get to see what happens in two days when we have an orcish, draconic, lycanthropic oh. nightmare running around. With, with, with ferocity. Oh, yeah, you're not yeah. fucking killing me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, this is, I'm gonna have to... Yeah, I'm gonna have to happen. make... We're gonna have to make something for you for this, but um, we'll figure it out. Absolute nonsense. Have a magical time. <laughs> Have a magical time, guys. <laughs>